Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and today I am doing some PvP with the Barb Straight Sword. This is a, another attempt to make the Bleed Infusion useful. I gotta say, this is a pretty close one, but it still falls short. I think the only weapon that's really effective with the Bleed Infusion is the Warden Twin Blades. This one is very close. I'd say if it had maybe 58 bleed buildup, you'd be actually running this very effectively. You'd be getting the bleed consistently. As it is now, it's more on the rare side to get that bleed, which is disappointing. But, you know, it's the bleed infusion. That's, that's how it is. <laughs> so I have 52 bleed buildup on this. The damage is pretty low. It gets a C in strength, a D in dex, with 40 strength and 50 dex. I have 268, but it does get the straight sword moveset, which is very good. Combo that with the Arbalest, Giant Crossbow, and the Splintering Bolt, which, if you're not familiar with it, shoots kind of like a shotgun, and each bolt inflicts three bleed buildup. I have the Exile Mask, Armor of Thorns, Follower Gloves, Fram Boots, Ring of Favor, Chlorinthy Ring, Life Ring, and Sun Princess Ring. Let's get started with the PvP. The opponent has the Demon's Great Axe. <laughs> That's the weapon I've been trying to get my hands on for a while. No luck yet, but I am not giving up the search. Forty-five damage on our bolt is not a lot, but it's better than nothing. And we got some bleed built up, I'm sure. There's 122, a little better. Nice R2 to the gut. And there's the bleed 376. And the running R1 finishes him off. Oh, great Gwyn. Our opponent has the lightning buffed war pick. Oh. He got his running attack damage. I did not. Great combo, the R1, R1, R2, L1, and then the running R1 for the win. Our opponent has the Oni Carry and Ubidachi, and massive amounts of Karthus Rouge just slathered on there. We got a headshot. I noticed that uh, this crossbow bolt tends to get headshots quite a lot because of... Oh no! Look at that. Almost dead. Almost bled out. This is no fun. That was pretty fun, I must say. Oh! God, this is intense right now. Both of us probably, well, I don't know how much bleed I got, to be honest. But we're both almost dead in terms of health. Oh my god, <laughs> a little lag at the end, that's disappointing. But overall, a pretty good match. Looks like our opponent has the Farron Ultra Great Sword. Trying to bait me with a firebomb. Thankfully he missed that rolling attack. Gotta roll four times. That's the way it's done. He's still hucking those black firebombs. 
Ooh. I was expecting more damage on that uh, crossbow there. Oh man, he must be nearly bled out. Gotta keep the pressure on. Aggression. Darn. Oh man, he has like 1 HP left. 24 HP actually. Our opponent looks like he's doing a Flynn's build. That is going to be awesome for us because he's going to have such low bleed resistance. <laughs> we just got the bleed from the crossbow. Devastating. Yeah. Our opponent has the Black Knight Glaive and the armor from the looks of it. Oh. Wide miss on his running attack. Very near miss there. He went for the weapon art, which was another miss. I uh, got us with the second R2, though. I really wish that crossbow hit him. Uh, I should know not to go for running attacks against Halberds. They can just poise through your attack and give you the business. And by business, I mean crushing your face with an axe-like blade. Oh. I wonder how much bleed he has on Oh! Are we going against Hodrick? Oh, it's Hodrick with the butcher's knife. That could be frightening. No damage, but he might have got some bleed built up. Hopefully got some bleed built up there. That's three or four hits. Looks like there's a little lag. There's the bleed off of the crossbow. And the R1, R1 combo for the win. Opponent has a flaming ultra great sword. I'm not sure if that's a pontiff or something else. I think it's a pontiff though. One sixty one on our crossbow. That is not bad at all. One twenty seven there. Trying to get the bleed. <laughs> He's trying to get the frost. Oh. Caught him there. Got him with the crossbow. Oh no, he's getting some R1s charged up. I wish you could un <laughs> trigger it. And the R2 through the chest. Our opponent has the Fume Ultra Great Sword. He actually has the same helmet as us, I think. Was that an elite knight? A knight? Oh, shoot. That was a perfect time to shoot him with a crossbow bolt. Oh, well. That was scary. Backstab! I'll take that. Not as good as a backstab, but I built up more bleed.
Full smash. Yeah. Looks like our opponent has a great sword, Black Knight great sword, I believe. Ah, uh, yes, there's that beautiful R2 thrust attack. <laughs> I don't know how he dodged that so well. Hopefully, we get some bleed built up here. I was expecting him to parry, but I didn't notice he went two-handed. I don't know if that was the bleed or just the crossbow, but we won. That is one big fella. <laughs> Looks like the whole wing and knight armor and Artorius Greatsword with the Shockwave on the Somersault attack. I love that Somersault attack. Not the most accurate thing out there. Oh wow, my crossbow was like inside of his body, so it didn't do any damage. Went right through him. Oh, is he fat rolling? That's gonna be a plus for us. The bleed bar going with our crossbow. Some more crossbowage. We gotta be close to bleeding them out. Wow, he fat rolled through the crossbow. Looks like he ran out of stamina there. Wow, I cannot believe we're still not bleeding him out after that many hits. So much defense. I believe our opponent cast the weapon art on the chime for that 6 HP per second. But since they are two-handing, that has went away. Nice 409 damage combo from our barb straight sword and crossbow. Hard to compete with that poise though, man. Looks like our opponent is doing the standard knight setup. Well, maybe not standard knight. Looks like he has a Lothric knight, straight sword, and a small shield for better parries. Oh, wow! Did you see that bleed right there? That is how it's done. They call me Billy Bob the Bleeder. The best bleeding bleeder of all the bleeding bleeders. This sounds so weird. Oh no, don't lag out on me now! Wow, that was so close. Good game. Looks like our opponent has freed his great scythe. So it's going to be bleed against frost. Crossbow is so good for punishing people who attack just a little bit too late. Got him again with that crossbow. Hopefully we'll be seeing the bleed here. Ah, I had a feeling I should not be reloading there. Really? Close match. But the speed of the straight sword prevails. 
check it out. You guys can see there's actually a ton of bolts on there. So I didn't expect them to actually create a specific bolt for this, but they did, and it looks awesome. GG from Soft. GG. This is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly.